Hey, Steve Rintoul, we're in our second delay of the day here, the first round of the Memorial Tournament. Just give us an update on what the day's been like so far and how long you might think this delay might last. Yeah, well, thanks. It's a uh, unfortunate set of circumstances, right? We come here to Muirfield Village to unveil the new golf course for Mr. Nicholas, and it's absolutely incredible. The work's been done, and, and we're blessed with a day like today, so it's unfortunate. Uh, but we played a lot of golf this morning before the first delay. We got back out and played a little bit more. There's a front down to our southwest that's pushing through. It's moving. And it's just a matter of us getting, letting that get out of here and let all these, you know, the cells with the lightning in them move off to the north, you know, and hopefully get the players warmed up again and play some more golf this evening. You know, you know here in Ohio in, in June, we have long days. So, you know, we've got a lot of golf to play, you know, today and then tomorrow, hopefully make a cut and get back track on, get on back, back on track for the weekend. The weekend looks like it's going to be fabulous. So look forward to that. So you, you and your team, uh, PGA Tour rules officials and administrators, are experts in this. You deal with it regularly and uh, quite a lot. Unfortunately, lately. yes. Yeah. Um, just, uh, is there any prognosis that you can provide us for the weekend ahead, or is it just like a wait and see kind of a situation? No, Mark. I haven't really put a pen to a paper. You know, as far as the amount of daylight and how much golf we've got to play yet, that's going to depend on how much more we play today. To be quite frank, you know, we'll we'll certainly make a cut at some point in time, whether it's tomorrow night or, or, or Saturday morning. Uh, probably will revolve to us perhaps being in threesomes on Saturday. I, I don't want get, to get that far ahead, but certainly be back on track and have a great finish on Sunday. And your on-site meteorologist, what sort of information is he giving you and what have you relayed to the players at this point? Oh, uh, yeah, Joe Halverson's our on-site meteorologist. Uh, Joe does a tremendous job for us. Um, you know, look, he's looking at every cell that's coming our way and see how much lightning's in it and how dangerous it, it, you know, it is and how much it's going to put out. I told the players right now we'd get back to them at 5 o'clock Eastern tonight with, a, with the latest update. At that point in time, you know, we've got to assess things and see if it's safe to play, safe to get them back on the golf course, them and the fans. Um, give them a little bit of warm-up time and then get them back in position on the course. So we'll look at it at that point in time and hopefully get going sooner or later tonight. And just finally, there seems like a lot of talk amongst people that aren't really aware that it doesn't seem like there's that much rain, but it's the electricity that's the biggest problem. Yeah, we had. What, what's the situation yeah. when you get electricity nearby? Yeah, we had we had a rough day yesterday in the pro am with with uh, rain, um, and then some more today. Uh, so it's unfortunate, but it hasn't been a lot of rain. You know, it's been these pop up cells that produce electricity that we can't. We're not going to put anybody's life at stake when we've got pop up you know cells with lightning in them around. So hasn't been a lot of rain accumulation over the last couple of days, but just been a little bit of uh, an electrical storm here and there that's kind of knocked us out. Thanks, Steve. Appreciate it. Thanks. Good work.